Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. Heroes can come from unlikely beginnings. And broken friendships can lead to dark rivalries. When the world is in danger, fate calls on the ordinary to do extraordinary deeds. And go on journeys they had only dreamed of. Our heroes, thrown together by fate, must now seek help from a legendary inventor. But the question remains, will it be enough to save the world? This is so cool! The amount of engineering it must have taken to do this? Automated train tracks running all through the nether, connecting all the different order members? And imagine the scaffolding you'd need to make all this. Eligard was probably fighting off zombie pigmen with one hand, wiring redstone with the other. Hey, Olivia, we're going to the order for a reason, okay? And that reason is because they'll know what to do. If we don't get the order back together, the Witherstorm is going to eat everything. We're gonna get to Eligard, get her to help us, and we're gonna save the world. I hope you're right. We definitely stand a better chance with Eligard's help. Uh... Jesse! <gasps> Buddy, let's go. I never doubted you for a second, but but that was incredible. Maybe we have a chance of getting to Eligard after all. Look, there's the sign. Redstonia. Redstonia, here we come. about to meet the greatest redstone builders in the world. Wow. Who would have thought that someday I'd really get to visit Redstonia, Eligard's capital city of engineering. Incredible. Do you think Eligard will be willing, you know, to help us? Yeah. <laughs>
you and adore each and every one of you. Your hard work inspires me every day. Jesse, there she is. I am about to enter my dome of concentration, where I will be unreachable for the foreseeable future. But I will emerge when I complete my latest and greatest creation, the command block. So please, continue working, continue building, and whichever person most impresses me, they shall be my protege. Ready to help usher in a new era of innovation and creativity. Calvin, throw the switch. Jesse, we need to get there before she totally locks herself in. Ah, uh, crap. <coughs> Excuse me, Mr. Calvin, was it? We need to speak to Eligard. It's urgent. Oh, I'm afraid that's quite impossible. Did you hear the speech? She's on lockdown until she completes her next great invention. But lucky for you, I'm here. How can I help you? I mean, I'm no Eligard. But I'm still pretty cool. Sure, if you can save the world. No, I'm afraid not. Look, I can tell you're not from around here. Level with me. Who are you? Why do you need to see Eligard? We don't do tours this time of year, I must tell you. And Eligard isn't one for appointments. I have a message from Gabriel, okay? Eligard's old friend? Hmm... You must admit that this all sounds a little outlandish. Jesse, show him the amulet. Look, this is Gabriel's amulet. It's how I got here. It's how I found Eligard in the first place. Oh my. Well, that is interesting. If you'd like, I could send that to Eligard. Maybe that would help your mission. Might not be a bad idea. Okay, sure, that would be great. If I'm not mistaken, that should go right to Eligard's private office. I might be wrong. Could be wrong. This place is pretty complicated. Speaking of which... I'm afraid I have many more things to attend to than answering all of your questions. I must go. Better just take this repeater and disable the stair controls. We don't want any troublemakers disturbing Eligard. <laughs> Guess we'll need to get another repeater. Right. A lever, I wonder what it does. Sorry. That's okay. Now that the fear has completely paralyzed me, I'm almost enjoying myself. Tell your friends about my invention. Spent ages on it. Wow. I wonder how high it'll go. This view is spectacular. Now that she's... Uh, exploring the skies? I assume she wouldn't mind me looking through her stuff. Oh man, stone! Jackpot! Oh man, I bet you could make a lot of cookies with all that. Level with me. Do you just make cookies, like, all the time? Huh. I, I might make a cookie or two. Yeah, you do. Oh, I love cookies. Did Sandy just take off? Oh, I never thought she'd actually be able to do it. Oh, you didn't.
Yeah, crazy, right? She, she just took off. Guess she just really wanted to fly. Anyway. Stupid cow launching. <clears throat> you must be here to see my incredible auto farmer. Why waste time planting sugarcane when it could be planting itself? Auto farming, huh? What's the deal with that? Oh, it's real simple. Planting sugarcane takes time. With my system, that's time you save and put right back in your rhetorical time pocket. You got a repeater? Sorry, already used all mine. I got some redstone torches, though. I've really got to see Eligard. Oh, I see. Trying to prove how much you want the spot as her protege so I'll be intimidated? <laughs> well, it's not working. I'll just be going, then. If you need a better way to plant sugarcane, you know where to look. Oh, she's driving me nuts with that! Sheesh. Yeah, I can see that. Listen, if you could do something about that whole situation, I'll hook you up with some primo crafting stuff. Deal? I'll see what I can do. You taking care of those cows yet? <sighs> Guess not. Could you please try and do something about that? Can't help but notice you checking out my cowapult, friend. It's got an easy-to-use lever right there. So feel free to fling a cow, or maybe you'd like to try it on your piggy there first. <gasps> Oh, believe me, he'll love it. I've never known a cow not to like it. It's safe, right? I mean, I wouldn't oh, want... Oh, I've never known anything so safe in my life. Okay, Reuben, it's time for a game of... Super Pig! Congratulations! You've just managed to catapult a cow for no apparent reason. Congratulations! You've just managed to catapult a cow for no apparent reason. Hi there! What? Look, you're gonna have to speak up there! Oh, I just said hi! Much better! What can I do for you? You wanna see my TNT cannon? You say something? Speak up now! How does your machine work? Still a work in progress! But eventually, it'll launch people high into the air so they can see for miles around! Cool, theoretically. Do you have a repeater I could use? Sorry. None of those to spare. Can you get us in the dome? What? Can't hear ya. But if it's about getting into Eligard's dome, no can do. Sorry. I like you, sport. Here, have some redstone dust. Dust from a strange man. Cool. Hello there, I, uh... Welcome to Mabel's Mighty Cowapult! Make your cows soar through the air with a wide-eyed stare. Be amazed, be astounded, let your wonders be compounded! And what do you have here? You are about to witness the world's first cowapult machine. I came up with the idea when I lived in a place called Boomtown. But now, I am here, and the cows are a-flying! Hey, you got any spare repeaters? I could really use one. Oh, sorry, friend. Tapped out. 
Hey, that farmer over there sent me. The one with all the sugar cane? Yeah, I've seen her. Well, all the cowapulting is really bothering her. Do you think you could stop? Oh, well, she's just gonna have to suck it up. No way. But those poor cows. <laughs> Please, they love it. Probably. Cows don't exactly have a wide spectrum of emotion, so it's hard to tell if they're happy or traumatized. So where'd we land on the whole stop flinging cows thing? On not. Not stopping flinging cows is where we landed. Right. Hi. Hey, how's it going? How you doing? Uh, here to see the next great revolution in entertainment? It is pretty amazing. Definitely the sort of creation that Eligard's future protege might make, no? Need a hand with anything? That's mighty groovy of you to offer, uh, but I'm doing just fine, thanks. So long as that dunderhead sticks over there. What am I looking at, exactly? This friend of mine is the bovine lava disco. Perfect fusion of my two loves, cows, and music. Eligard's gonna see it and make me her protege for sure. Actually, I was wondering, can you spare a repeater? Ooh, sorry friend, uh, actually just used my last one on this puppy. Uh, one of the key components that helps the cows dance. <laughs> I'm actually gonna keep on keeping on. Enjoy the dancing cows. Just stay away from that little uh, schoolboy, all right? He's never had an original idea in his life. Hey, a redstone repeater. That's just what I need. Hey, what's up? What's up? Here to see the best machine that's ever graced Redstonia's shores. Some people say I lack modesty. Some people just aren't as great as I am. And some people are idiots. You got a spare repeater? I mean, yes, I do. But will I share it with you? Mm, no, afraid not. I might need it, so... But, but why am I telling you all this? I'm trying to become Eligard's protege over here, and you're probably all in cahoots with that disco weirdo over there. I'm pretty sure he just enjoys torturing cows. Been real chatty with that disco friend of yours. What's he been telling you about me, huh? He's just jealous. Doesn't think I deserve to be Eligard's protege. Which I will be, obviously. Hey, ha, this rivalry's none of my business. Fine. Just don't listen to anything he says. What's that white suit wearing fool saying now? He is just jealous. Doesn't think I deserve to be Eligard's protege. Which I will be, obviously. I told him I wouldn't tell you this, but he thinks you lack creativity. That you're not inventive. Because he kind of says that you steal your ideas. All of them. That no good, dirty, ugh, disco freak! I've got a bone to pick with you! Steal all my ideas, huh? That's what you're telling people. Guess I just call them like I see them. Oh no, my machine! <laughs> 
Oh, my cows. Ah, oh, something's gone wrong with the clock circuit. Ah, uh, the lava isn't switching with the water. Oh, no, your amazing invention. You! You did this! Hey, I am not taking credit for any of this. That machine's been a cow death trap since block one. Oh, my cows! My poor cows! Oh, my machine! My poor machine! Ah, oh, I can't let Olivgard see it like this. Uh, she'll never make me her protege. Oh, how am I ever gonna fix this? Ooh, lava curtain. That is flashy. I have no idea how it works, but that is pretty amazing. So, where'd we land on the whole stop flinging cows thing? On not. Not stopping flinging cows is where we landed. Right. Maybe that guy has something I could use. Nothing. Worth a shot, I guess. All these inventions? These inventors are all incredible. Seems like this place has really blown you away. You're not kidding. This is like everything I've ever dreamed of. I would have thought you'd be up in people's faces talking about inventions. I want to, but I'm a little worried. I might know Redstone where we come from, but these people are the real deal, Jesse. I mean, I don't even know how they're making some of these things. Even if you're intimidated, maybe you could talk to them. They could teach you some cool stuff about what they know. Yeah, maybe. So Eligard's trying to make a command block in there? I know, I heard that too. I'm actually not sure how I feel about that. I mean, there's no way we misheard her, right? If she can really make another command block, maybe we could use it. I don't know, Jesse. That sounds pretty risky. You saw what happened when Ivor tried to control a command block. Okay, I'm gonna keep trying to open the dome. I'll see what I can do to help. Okay, that's a step in the right direction. Bam! Door open! Switch is on. That doesn't seem super useful. I'm working on it, Olivia. These aren't exactly labeled, you know. Switch is on. Okay, good, good. Guards Redstone Laboratory. Seems more like an entrance or a foyer or something. 
Don't worry, pal. We'll find her. I just hope she can actually help us. stuff I've ever seen in my life. You can say that again. Come on, let's keep moving. Yeah, what are those things even for? Maybe, I don't know, breaking things up, keeping intruders out. There are lots of possibilities. Okay, almost. Definitely a step in the right direction. It looks like I can adjust the settings on this thing. Yeah. Nicely done, Jesse. You're pretty good at this. Hey, what can I say? Me and the Redstone just speak to each other. Uh huh. Moving a lot of different ingredients around here. Man, look at all this, huh? Whatever she's working on, if it requires all of these ingredients. Now, I don't want to alarm you, Olivia, but I have no idea what I'm looking at here. I don't know what it is yet either. That's why I'm studying it. Come on, let's keep moving. Yeah. I wonder why she even has that circuit. I dreamt it. Entering Eligard's laboratory, seeing her right there. She'll ask me to be her apprentice, and the next thing you know, we'll be changing the world together. Let's just try to save the world first. Time to pace back and forth and check the systems. Inventory request. Operational. Delivery latency? Speedy. Still talking to myself? Yep. Uh-huh. Okay. Whoa! Hi! Hey! Didn't see you sneaking up on me. Yes, got the point. Don't touch anything in here, okay? It's all supremely fragile and genius. Did Calvin send you? You my new assistants? New assistants with a stupidly adorable pig, that is. <laughs> Jessie, she thinks we're her new assistants. 
Eligard. No time for specifics, I'm afraid. Hey, you! Goggle Girl. Switch on that T-flop circuit to activate the delivery chutes. And you, non-goggle guy? Grab me a blaze rod and an iron block. She wants me to do something for her. What if I screw it up? What if I... Oh, I feel lightheaded. Wow, now I need an assistant to help with my assistant. Think you can handle it on your own? Olivia? O Olivia, can you hear me? I don't think that I've ever fainted before. Ugh, so embarrassing. Everything working over... <laughs> hmm. Fine, I I'll just do it myself then. Number 6,451. Another bust. Now, about you three. Uh, your friend here. Does she fall over frequently? Is this gonna be a regular occurrence? I... no. I'm sorry. I was just so excited to... And with me always pacing around, lost in my own brilliant thoughts, I could have tripped over you and conked my brain. Brilliant thoughts. Gone. <laughs> I have to confess something, Eligard. We're not here to be your assistants. Kinda of glad, actually. What with Madame Faints a lot over there. <laughs> so, why are you here? We're actually here to get your help. There's a giant wither storm and it's attacking the entire world. A wither what? What are you talking about? Who who sent you? Was it Calvin? Calvin? Gabriel sent me. Look, you both seem like very pleasant people who are prone to fainting, but I simply don't have the brain power for this. I'm in the middle of my greatest project to date. A powerful block, capable of altering reality itself. I'm so close, I can practically taste it. And it tastes like victory. With a side of sweet, sweet redstone engineering. I've seen one of those before. It's a command block. Wait, 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 wait. How do you know what a command block is? Not to seem belittling, but we are talking about some mega, ultra-genius level stuff here. You've seen one up close before. It was Ivor's. He's done something terrible with it. The world needs the Order of the Stone. That's why we're here. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. You're the ones who brought this. It came up, no note or anything, and I was terribly curious about where it had come from. Yes, the amulet. Gabriel gave it to me. That's how we found you. He did? So, could we have that back? Sure, whatever. I don't even like amulets. Yes, this is serious indeed. All the more reason why I need to finish my command block. I can use it to fight this Witherstorm monster thing, or whatever. Necessity is the originator of invention. And that monster is my necessity for inventing, of which I am the originator. Is that even possible? Can you really do that? This is the Eligard you're talking to. Who is me, if you're confused. And I, Eligard, will make a command block today. Your Witherstorm problem was created by a command block, yes? That means a command block could be the perfect way of beating it. And maybe... Will you help me make one? It's going to work this time. I can feel it. Right here, in my brain. You're the genius, Eligard. Let's get started. Fantastic.
Just a little farther. Well, that's certainly impressive. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, who goes there? Oh, Jesse? Is that you? Lucas, did you build all of this? Well, yeah. I figured I would try and fortify the place, you know? Nice! I'm so glad you're back! And we brought Eligard! Fantastic! Quick, come on! You guys are never gonna believe who showed up while you were gone. Petra! Hey guys, how's it going? <laughs> I'm so glad you're okay, Petra. Yeah, I'm pretty stoked about it myself. And it's really good to see you, Jesse. Back there in Gabriel's bunker, it got pretty dicey. I don't understand. How did you escape? You pulled me out of that Witherstorm's crutches, and I ran and ran and ran for the temple. If you hadn't saved me, well, I owe you everything, Jesse. I'm just glad I heard Gabriel telling you where to go. I'm so glad to see you. Wow. Did Gabriel get away too? Did you see? It's all a blur, but the weather storm left almost nothing behind. Everything. Everyone. was just gone. It even got Gabriel. I wouldn't believe that anything could defeat Gabriel if I hadn't seen it for myself. This is terrible. I can't remember the last time I saw this place. Would someone care to explain what he is doing here? Call this a hunch, but do you two not like each other? Right. I forgot to mention. Axel went on a little... adventure of his own while you were gone. An adventure to get him? Did you know about this? Why didn't you tell me? You did this on purpose. Everyone just coming and going around here. Hey, Axel's my friend, okay? I didn't know he was going to get Magnus. You gotta believe me. Well, I hope you're not expecting me to work with that Cretan. Look, just wait here a second while I figure out what's going on. Much appreciated. So, who are you then? And why'd you bring the Queen of the Nerds with you? That's Jesse, my best friend. Trust me. Jesse's totally cool. I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll be the judge of that, huh? We're reuniting the Order of the Stone. I got tired of waiting around, so I decided to go recruit Magnus myself. It was kind of a crazy adventure, but it all worked out in the end. And now, I'm the king of Boomtown. Ah! We've been bonding and stuff. I've had, like, the best day. Way to go, Axel. Well, it wasn't easy. I had to beat him in a crazy tournament, and... Long story, you had to be there. Short version, epic battle of explosions and mayhem, death-defying action, shenanigans, and pyrotechnics. Bada-bing, bada-boom! Your friend here is kind of supreme ruler of my kingdom now, you know what I mean? Well, this is unexpected. I'm not entirely sure what you mean. 
but I'm definitely sure that I don't like it. Yeah, show him some respect. Oh, you're sticking up for Magnus. That's very sweet. Yeah, he's sticking up for me. It's because I'm really awesome and super cool. Would you all cut it out? Holy crap, you're all acting like crazy people. Uh, people, can we please focus on the bigger picture? We have a very hungry Witherstorm in the process of turning the whole world into its dinner. It was terrifying. It came out of nowhere and just destroyed everything. A little too scary for you, Ellie? Couldn't just think it away? You weren't there, Magnus. I'm telling you, this thing was like nothing I've ever seen. Why? Because it's never come inside one of your little workshops? Would you two stop fighting? Whoa! Yikes. Jesse's right. We need to find some way to stop that thing. Well, I don't know if you've had the chance to poke around this old dump yet, but it's pretty much stripped bare. It would take a mountain of TNT to kill that thing. I hate to say it, but you have a point. This is amazing. I know. Are they getting along? Magnus? I've thought of something. Ugh. Thinking. What else is new with you? But against such an unthinkable enemy, even all the TNT in the world might not be enough. If only Soren were here, he might have something we could use. Oh, Ellie. Not this again. You know I hate when you brag about you and Soren's little brainy club. I'm not bragging. I think I've got a legitimate idea here. What are you talking about? What did Soren have? Soren had a kind of super TNT. Stronger and more explosive than anything else in the world. The Formidabomb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard all about the F-bomb before. F-bomb? Yeah. Soren claimed that dropping the F-bomb could destroy anything. Well, the Formidabomb sounds perfect. We should go get it now. Well, there's a little problem there. We don't know where Soren is. But you found us. Do you know where he is? Our map could locate him, unless he's in the nether, or the end. But it's worth a shot. I bet we can find him. How are you, Petra? Fine. You okay? We can talk about it later. Let's just do this map for now. Hello, Eligard. You said you know how to activate the map? I'm very curious to see it. I've never actually seen it work before. Hey, Axel, how are you doing? I'm hanging out with Magnus. I'm doing awesome. Glad to hear it, buddy. Hey, Magnus. Hey, Small Fry. No shame in admitting you can't turn that thing on. It's very, very sophisticated. I'm going, I'm going. I know what I'm doing. How are you holding up, Lucas? I'm all right. This has all been pretty intense. I feel like if I think too much about what's been going on, well, I'll just think I'm completely nuts. Thank you so much for all the help. I, I know we haven't always gotten along the best in the past, but you've been so great. Wow. That means a lot, Jesse. Thank you. Hey, Olivia, you okay? I'm all right. I can't shake the feeling that I embarrassed myself back in Redstonia, in front of Eligard. I think she kind of judges me a little bit. Be okay. I hope you're right.
use your light, my light. That's new. There he is. Soren had his fortress deep inside the mountains. After the order broke up, that's where he went to keep doing his experiments. Look, he invited me there a couple times, but it always seemed a little... Weird, right? It always seemed a little weird. Glad we can agree on that at any rate. I mean, I never actually went there with him. That's probably the only time you made the right call. So he'll help us, right? Whoa. It didn't do that before. Are you sure it's working? Who is that? Oh, no, it's... That's Ivor! Ivor is going to Soren's. We need to move! It's not too far. We could probably make it on foot. Righteous. We'll get some rest and head out first thing in the morning, avoiding all the nighttime monsters and everything. If you had seen that monster, you wouldn't be saying that. We need to leave now. I think it's following us, Magnus, and I don't want to risk it catching up with us. We have to go now. Yeah, I don't want the Witherstorm catching up with us. We should go now. An excellent call, Jesse. And far more decisive than either of us are being. What a coincidence that it's your plan! But fine. Okay, everyone, let's get moving. Yo, we haven't really gotten the chance to chat yet. Oh, hello. I heard you saved your friend back there from this Witherstorm thing. You're pretty tough, huh? A regular iron golem, huh? Leaving the creepers quaking in their boots. <laughs> Did I make you uncomfortable? Hilarious. Kinda wish you had my back before. But whatever. Still seem alright. Ish. What's the deal with your buddy Axel? Can't tell if he's awesome or a little bit of a dork. He's just a little, uh, doofy, you know? He's like a little puppy. You don't know whether you want to hug it or just walk away. Axel's one of my best friends. He makes me laugh and he always sticks up for his friends. Interesting. Very interesting. Then why didn't you listen to his plan to come get me? Was I just not your cup of tea, or didn't think you could handle it? I do have that effect on people sometimes. I don't know, I just wanted to go with Olivia instead, I guess. Uh-huh, uh-huh, I guess that's fair. Sort of. <laughs> I'll try not to let it hurt my feelings too much. Well, just keep on your toes. <sighs> Why I said we should have waited till morning. We wouldn't need to worry about any of this crap. At least we're keeping ahead of the Witherstorm. We can hash all that out later, because we got some monsters to fight here, people. Daytime. How far is Soren? It has to be close, right? Not much farther, we can make it! Really live? 
live down here? It's so far from anyone. Enchanting, isn't it? <coughs> Yeah, and I'm really not feeling those columns. Ah, oh, come on! It's fine! Look! Woo! <laughs> Don't fall, okay? <laughs> oh, that is deep. That is very, very deep. <laughs> oh, whoa! and thought I would come down to help. <laughs> Enderman. There are so many. I didn't think they ever came in groups that big. Where are the others? They went searching ahead for you. walks away. That's it. I'm going. See? I'm walking away too now. Super TNT. Here I come. It's hard to pick glass half full when they keep kicking the glass over. And I thought they were doing so well. Yeah, I wouldn't go that far. Bickering is kind of their deal. But hopefully they'll work things out and get on with the important stuff. What are we gonna do now? Where should we go? Let's figure it out. Guard the engineer. Gabriel the warrior. Jesse, isn't this incredible? I can't believe we're actually here. If they made a statue of me, I wouldn't choose that pose. I'd look like this. Big cool place like this? Underground? Weird. Petra doesn't look so good. Hey, Petra. Hey. You okay? Petra, are 
Are you okay? I'm sorry. I don't mean to worry you. I've just got something I want to discuss with you in private. Well, let's put up. I feel bad about ditching everyone else, but I just wanted to talk to you about this alone. It's a little tough to talk about. Hey, whatever it is, I trust you. You can tell me. Thanks for being so understanding. You got me away from the wither storm, but I'm worried that I didn't get away soon enough. What? showed up not too long after you saved me. What is that? What's wrong with your arm? Do you know what wither is? The wither? Of course. We've been... No, Jesse. Just wither. Or wither sickness, I guess. And I feel like it's just gonna keep getting worse. Well, we're gonna go back and tell the others. We can get help. You can't tell anyone about this. <sighs> ah! Ah! Creeper! Grab my hand, I'll pull you up. Jesse, I just couldn't. I'm sorry. Jesse? Are you okay? Go and find the others. Hopefully, you can find a way to get down to me or something. Okay. Stay safe. I'll find a way down to you. Must have something useful in here. He has to. Why would he have so many books? Was he just collecting them? He can't have read all of these. <gasps> you trying to interfere with my plans again? I see. Your tenacity is commendable, yet misguided. You found your way in here. 
So now you may find it back out again. I found the rest of the order. What good will that do? I'm here with the order to find Soren's Super TNT. We're gonna take down your Witherstorm. The order? <laughs> Believe me, that plan will blow up in their faces in more ways than one. They cannot help you. But me? I choose not to. Out of my way. Move! Wait, but I... Oh, you're not going anywhere. <laughs> Petra, you escaped? <laughs> ah, foolish girl! I... Shut up. I don't care what you have to say. I'm just gonna take you down. Ah. story. You're not going anywhere. Ah! This could have all been avoided. If you want to stop me, you'll have to catch me first. Jesse, look out! You're not getting out of here that easy, Ivor. <laughs> I'm like the wind! Jesse, you could have just let me go. <laughs> now you see me. Now you. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't let him leave. Vanish all you want, slime ball. You're still not going anywhere. <laughs> End of the rail, Ivor. We're not letting you get away. One's on you, you puffed up fool! Jesse! Petra! Even more of you? Will this parade of useless babblers never cease? What's going on? We found Ivor. Stopped him. Jesse did, anyway. False. You have stopped nothing. Query, have you ever seen the effects of a splash potion of slowness? That they can destroy the Wither Storm, but they are mistaken, and it will cost them their lives. Next time on Minecraft Story Mode. In pursuit of answers, all our heroes found in Sauron's armory was deceit and treachery. Locked in a dark chamber deep in Sauron's mountain, as the Order of the Stone rides off towards near certain doom, our heroes must ask themselves, would they find a way out of this dark tomb? Is there any way to cure Petra's wither sickness? Would they find a way to defeat the wither storm? Or would they remain trapped 
as it continues its ravenous rampage across the entire world? Only time will tell. <laughs>